Okay, here we've got the other cabinet. Now this one was in a lot worse shape. So we had to pretty much take this all the way down to the wood. We have one hole here we're gonna fill. Other than that, it's gonna have to get primed and then painted. So I'm here at my uh, mixing table. And you can see this is the primer ever coat is the primer that I use. This is a high build acrylic primer. I reduce it with a lacquer thinner. And this is a high filling, quick drying, sprayable. You could roll it, but after the second coat, you would never get away with it because it would, it would ball up too fast. It's really designed to be sprayed, but it has a very good filling capability. And this is what I use on the panels because they're raw wood because of sanding them. Okay, so here we have the primer um, on the first one and I'm just hitting the areas that need it. I didn't get to this one yet, but I just wanted to show you here that I sprayed the front. This is just the very first coat and I'm going to be working on this side next. Now this entire side is going to be completely primed when the other one had paint on it so I only had to touch up the areas. You can see the Bondo along the bottom there and now we have both panels primed. I believe I have three coats of primer on them and now when I sand these down again they're going to be really smooth. This primer is filling any deep scratches and that thing's going to be really nice surface for me to, to be working with with the decals. What's up guys? We're back here with this uh, Pac-Man machine. So the next step I'm going to be spraying is this black here. We have all the sides all sanded down. This is really smooth. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut in this color the blue Pac-Man color. We're gonna we're gonna cut it in. We're not gonna actually paint the entire cabinet because this primer, the way I stained it, it's so smooth that we're just gonna adhere the decal to that, and we're just gonna have color around the edge. So when the decals cut around, there's anything off. Plus it'll help for the vinyl. This is the other one. Now this is an actual Pac-Man. So like I said earlier, I'm still. Got to work on the file to change the shape of the decal from that to this. So if you look at them from the sides, you can see they're slightly shaped. This one is a little more radius. So that's going to be tomorrow's step. I'm going to be painting just the black. Then I'll reverse mask, cover the black up, and spray the rest of the blue. And then here we got the speaker grills. These have been sanded down. They're going to be sprayed black as well. Hey guys, next morning I'm ready to spray the black. You can see I masked up these brackets. And this is the slider for the uh, monitor. Also covered up with a marquee. And this is the original layout. It had a line here and here and also on the tops. So this whole area is going to be sprayed black. Same with this one. Spray this area. That's what we're getting ready to do now. All right, I'm going to show you guys. If you guys have watched my other series on The Simpsons, this is the same paint system that I'm using on these uh, Miss Pac-Man that I did on The Simpsons. This is a satin black. It's three parts paint, one part hardener, one part reducer. I'm using a regular solder gravity feed and I just got done spraying it so let's take a look at it so I got the black done it's probably hard to see but it's not a gloss it's kind of like a satin you can kind of see a sheen right there it's like an eggshell type of gloss so both both panels are painted inside black it looks really good. I mean, you can't you can't roll this. There's no way to get it to look like this other than spraying it. So that is the black, and then we will be doing the uh, the blue tomorrow. Hey, what's happening? So here we got the color that we established was the correct blue, 
And now I'm trying to match the paint. So this is the Matthews paint system. I found a chip that was really close. This is the color. Probably hard to tell in this light. But it, it matches. Um, I had to do some adjustments, so I made a note here. I had to add a little more blue and a little more green and black. So this is the paint. This is going to be the three part paint, one part hardener, one part reducer. I'm going to be spraying it. And then in the booth here, you can see these are all sanded, all ready to go. The black has been done yesterday. We now reverse masked it. We taped this up here so that we can get a little bit of color on here if we need to. So when you put the tea molding on, you don't have any raw wood color. So by spraying this, it'll look good. The front's going to be painted. The sides, I'm not going to do a complete full paint. I have this sanded down so smoothly that the decal will stick to this fine the way it is. But I am going to cut this in around the edge, about three to six inches all the way around the perimeter. Same with this one. This is smooth enough that I'm just going to spray around the edge. So that is the next step that I'm going to get ready to do right now. Okay, I'm just sweating to death. It's super hot. I just got done spraying the blue. So let's take a look and see what it looks like. Okay, so the top and the back are completely fully painted. And like I talked about, I just cut it in, which you can see it's got like, a, this is like a satin finish. So it'll actually dull a little more than that, but it's it's like an eggshell gloss. It's not high gloss. I think this looks really professional, a really high gloss. Just looks cheesy. Um, this is what I use in my industry all the time. So the perimeter, same with the front, along the top, around the door, all the way down both sides, bottom up. This is the other one, the whole back and top, sprayed, cut in again. So now when the decal goes on, the whole thing will look painted. There's really no point in me painting the whole cabinet. It just would be a waste of paint. If I didn't have a smooth surface like I do, then yes, but I have a really smooth surface. It's not going to do me any good other than waste material. So that's it. I have two coats. Now there was a bad area right here, a little rougher, so I did want to get a little more paint on that to help fill that area up. Because the wood, because it's so old, I wouldn't, I guess it's water damage to a point. It's not like it's been sitting in water, but it had like these vertical cracks. We sanded it down. Um, so this will be sufficient for what it needs to be done. And then I did put a little bit of color. It's not gonna paint it completely, but it's better than a, a bright white edge of wood. But that's it. These are now gonna dry and then they'll be ready for the decals. Hey guys, that's gonna wrap up this episode and stay tuned for the next one. We're gonna be working on the graphic end of it and applying that. So thanks for watching and see you on the next one.